so our drug empire starts today then. We need to make all the green we can. Also, as much basement as possible. I thought this was a basement simulator. <laughs> the main currency of the game is basement. <laughs> I, well, I obviously want to get a better basement than all my neighbors. Like, this guy's clearly losing. This guy's okay. Yeah. But then we gotta work our way up to this motherfucker. He's got so much basement. Don't He's know what to do with basements. this. To be fair, you are rocking a solid nine basements. Thank you. Although I one of it's not being used. Really hard on it. The building rooms are green. Yeah, you gotta build more green production rooms. Uh, who we got working for us? Benito? Genie's the genie who makes the green. I like it. Look at the drug wizard. <laughs> Get our ice cream truck taken to our small green dealer. Uh, we gotta work with like a faction we don't make money. Yeah. So I'm assuming he's like, you know, the acid dealer we have to send for the police. Birdo. Gilberto. Solomon. Wait, was it? Oh, I was hoping the last one was a Birdo as well. Was it Roberto and Gilberto? <laughs> yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> Oh god. We got this way. Sorry. Ricardo. Protecting our drugs for us. We're hiring another guy to work on this one. Favorite, yeah. Josh. Dorky, disfigured young man. Extensive knowledge of local area. A bad leg who is from a parallel dimensional with a split personality. Sweet, ordinary looking old. He doesn't look that old. Old oh, man. <laughs> With a well stocked tool chest and a thirst for knowledge, who's also from a parallel dimension and lives with a group of wacky tourists. If we hire him, are we the wacky tourists? I think we are. A dorky, fine boned adult with a bad fashion sense and a strange artifact who is from the river and lives with dad. I like, it. I like how there's no qualifier on dad, it's not his dad. For all we know, it's our dad. In fact, yes, he lives with our dad. Maybe he's our brother, we should definitely hire him into the family yeah. business. I mean, he lives with our dad, it'd be rude not to hire him. Yeah. <laughs> I think this guy needs to be swapped out for a break. Ricardo, that's Ricardo. that guy's name. Benito. Oh, our little cool. ice cream truck. Yeah. For game, it'll be at the house. Like, it's all kind of empty. I guess we get an ice cream truck when we take the parking lot. So we get two trucks for. Oh, and the third one we take the garage. Oh, we get to the bad boys, whatever. Oh, that sounds terrifying. The bad boys. Yeah. Gotta be careful for that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Ice cream? They could want ice cream. <laughs> They're gonna come for ice cream truck? There's gonna be no ice Maybe cream. Maybe we just make pistachio ice cream. Maybe the green is just pistachios? Not even the ice cream. You know, cream. we're growing pistachio plants. <laughs> In our basement. Yeah. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Oh, well, my guys is leveled up. I think I'm gonna attack this spot. Alright, let's do it. Because it has a couch? Because the guy here just, like, doesn't care at all. Yeah. Oh, there's, so, there's a truck moving in. We're going to, uh, attack, attack the green dealer. So we can deal more pistachios. Oh, right on the main district. Right after we send all of our guards <laughs> to the green dealer. It's okay, we, we can, uh... <laughs> oh. oh. Alright, he's dead. Move him back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move for Kurt out. Although he's gonna get here off to the cops, though. Yeah, but you know. Uh, yeah, we got 11 seconds for him to get here. Well, I'm sure we can get out of this. Thanks. Oh, there he is, he's coming! Please get there in time, Ricardo! Yes! Perfect. Oh, it's 250. Yeah, let's just give him the money. He doesn't want to see our pistachios. <laughs> yeah, we got nothing to hide, what are we doing, man? Although, to be fair, the only game is the option of attack him or bribe him. <laughs> I just know, let him see your pistachio building establishment. 
You know, maybe they could even, like, hide it. Like, maybe put a locked door in here that we could, like... Oh, yeah. I want to see behind the stores. Like, oh, no, you need a warrant for that, officer. That's, yeah. our, that's where our secret pistachio recipe is hidden. Is there a third option for ask for warrant? Because <laughs> I would really appreciate that option. Keep slinging green. I was actually just focusing on building basements. Well, of course. You want the main form of commerce. What's that yellow room? Just power generators? Oh, yeah, it's a power generator, because you see I got this thing up here. Uh, 7 out of 10 powers. Yeah. Oh, I think I have it all. To get some more green. Let's, let's build all the green. Let's be honest. I don't feel bankrupt. What happens if I learn how to money? You can't grab the cops, in which case they'll see your pistachio establishment. Fair enough, that might actually be a And then they'll steal point. your secret recipe. Well, this says I have a monthly fee for the amount of workers. Okay, oh, so we're hiring number two. We got Kip, an outgoing disfigured man with animal DNA and a well-stocked tool chest, who is from a creepy city in the mountains that lives with a cute sidekick. So far, he's definitely the pick. I know. Well, for the fair of it, let's just look at the other people. Yeah, I, we're gonna pick Kip, but we might as well read the other guy's resumes. A sweet, ordinary-looking old man with a well-stocked tool chest and a thirst for knowledge. He's from parallel dimension and lives with a group of wacky tourists. We already have one of those, don't we? Or we have a neurotic, thickly-built man with a habit of daydreaming and a special power who's from New York City and lives with a cousin. I don't care what his superpower is, he's definitely gonna ruin the pistachio. He's just gonna be, like, thinking about something. Yeah. How can we trust him to work if he's constantly daydreaming? I mean, I knew we were already going to pick Kip. It's a good thing we made sure we weren't going to pick the other two as well. Yeah. And just for some convenience sake, build another storage room. Nice storage room right next to those two. Not a reasonably sized storage room, a tiny storage room. Well, that's the key word right there. Tiny. To be fair, pistachios are pretty small, so you don't need a lot of storage to store exactly. pistachios.